Hey guys, welcome to video number seven of learning how to play craps. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but we're going to try to fix that here in the next month. Today we're going to look at the don't pass bar in this video. Very simple, but I've had a lot of comments and questions on it, and so I want to play through it for you. As always, we're going to get started quick so that you can see how to play this in real life. Okay? As always, when you're given five dice, it means it's your turn. You have to pick two of those dice. The other three go away. I have $160 here of my money, and then here's some money hopefully I'll be taking from the dealer, um, or maybe I'll be donating it. We're going to see today. Okay. One thing about the pass bar is that when you start and you have $10 on the pass bar, there's a couple of things that you need to know. First off, if you get a 2 or a 3, you win. You double your money. Um, if you get a 12, it's a push, and most felts will have that 12 push on there. If it's in a 7 or 11, which you usually win on a pass line, you lose your money on a 7 and 11. And so the toughest thing about the pass bar is to get through the come out roll. If you can get to where you have a number on the come out roll like 5, and 5 is on, you actually have a greater chance of winning with the don't pass bar than you do with the pass line. It's slightly increased, it's not much, but it is more. Another random fact before we get started is that most casinos will let you move your don't pass bet to a pass line bet after the come out roll, and here's why. I told you you have a little bit better chance to win here, and so the casino of course will let you take the worst chance of winning. Okay, they will not let you go from the pass line to the don't pass. I've never been in a casino that has let you do that. But those are a few uh, just general things, and we're going to get playing here. Okay, remember you want to get through the come out roll if you can do that. You're going to be okay a lot of times. Looking for a 2 3 here, we do not want to see a 7 or an 11. So here we go. Let's roll a little bit and see what we have. Three. There we go, so we just made $10, okay? If you watch one of my other videos, I'll talk about stacking money, because this is free money, okay? Um, and so I'm going to stack this just to see uh, some video one or two, but we're just gonna see what happens here with that. And a six, here's a six. So the point is now six, and you can now begin to do your um, betting, okay? Uh, you could move this back again at any time if you want to play the six, but now let's talk about odds. Odds for the don't pass bar are called lay, okay? And the odds are a little bit different than the pass line or a come bet. For instance, the point is six, and so to win five dollars, we have to pay six because usually this bet in the pass line would pay six to five. Um, but we are betting with the casino, so we have to lay down the six dollars. Okay, so let's say that we're gonna lay down two units. So we're gonna lay down twelve dollars total, and you would set it like this right here, okay? Or you could set it like this, so that the dealer knows that these this is your lay or your odds, okay? But you're going to have two units um, for your odds, and the don't pass bet is in essence a bet saying that a seven will come before a six. If that happens, you win, okay? If that does not happen, then you lose. So let's see what we have. Three craps, nothing. Three craps again, nothing. Eight, nothing. Nine, nothing. Six. Okay, so that's the number we did not want to see. Our bet was we would see a seven before six, and so we lost that bet. Okay, so I want to take this money here in a second. I want to show you, though, if we would have won, let's say that we would have seen a seven before, you'd win even money here, so we would have won $20. Okay, and then this is a six to five bet. We bet six, we get five. Okay, so that's how it would have paid out if we would have caught a seven there okay but we did not so this money is going to the dealer the point would go off and you would play again okay so ten dollars is out there gotta get through the come out roll 
Commit roll is a hard six, so six is going to be back on. And we're going to have two units, so we have to lay out $12, just like that right there. Okay. And seven out. First roll was a seven out. So we won that time. Even money, $10 to the front line. And then it's a six to five payout. We put down six. We get paid five. We have two units. Okay, so the dealer would do that, stack it up for you, and he would give you your money. Okay, so let's play again here. Points off. Do not want to see a seven or 11. And we see a seven. So we just lost that $10. Ten more's out. And it's an eight this time. Eight's on. Remember, I've got to play the six to five. I'm paying the, the six to win five dollars. Five is nothing. Five is nothing. Five again is nothing. Four, hard four, is nothing. Yo, 11 is nothing. Nine is nothing. Three craps, nothing. Seven out. Okay. So again, we win there. And then we paid six dollars. We win five. So we just won again. Okay. Let's roll again. Let's see if we can get something else besides the six or an eight here. We get an eight. We got a six. Rolling all those middle numbers. Okay, so a ten. Okay, you like to see a ten. Fours and tens on the don't pass are your friends because there's not very many combinations to make a four or a ten. Okay, on a pass line, if, uh, if you had ten dollars on the pass line, you had twenty dollars behind, um, you could win your odds. You'd been forty dollars if you win. Okay. But remember, on the don't pass, you have to pay the big number up front, and then you win half of that. So we have $10 here. Let's say that we go 20. You have to pay $20 to win 10. So you'd set it up like this. There's your original bet, and you'd set it up like that right there. Okay. And our hopes is that uh, we hit a 7 before we hit a 10. And there it is, 7 out. Okay. So... We'll get ten dollars for our original bet, and you will receive you bet twenty, so you only get ten. So it'd be stacked like that. Okay, let's stack it up. There's your money. The point is off. Let's go one more time here. Make sure we know what we're doing. Let's see if we can get a five or a nine. Seven. I lost it. Just trying to show you how often that seven can be rolled. You got to get out another come out roll. So there's a five. Okay. Usually we get paid three to two every two units we get we put out. We get paid three. But we're playing the opposite way. So we have to put out three units. Okay. And we will get paid two. Okay. So let's roll. We have a 10, which is nothing. We have a yo, which is nothing. A nine, which is nothing. Six is nothing. 10, nine, got a bunch of high numbers. Five, okay, so five, we would have lost our money. The five came before a seven, okay? If a seven came before that, then it would have been a little bit different. We got $10 here for our original bet, and we had to pay three, so we would win two. Okay, but that did not happen. So we're going to put those back, and I'll count and see. We've just been playing for a few minutes. We'll count and see. There's my stack of 50. Let's see kind of what we won here in a few minutes. Thirty-two, four, six. So one thirty-six is what we have. So the table wasn't very friendly to us. We don't pass bet. Okay, got to be a cold table. Um, if you pay, if you play the don't pass, a couple of last things for you. First off, some etiquette for you. Um, if you're going to play the don't pass, a lot of times people will stand in the corner. They'll actually play it from about right there, 
And when it's your turn to roll, they give you the dice. Most of the time, table etiquette says that you do not roll. Uh, you pass your, your chance to roll um, just because you, um, you're playing opposite from probably everybody else. And uh, if, if most of the table is playing, they don't pass, then you can roll. But uh, for the most part, you pass. Uh, you don't celebrate on a seven out. Don't celebrate. That'll get people against you very quick. Um, but a lot of times, it's those people in the corner that um, a lot of times you're wondering, what are they doing over there? They're doing something different. Uh, in video number eight, we're going to look at the don't pass bar with the don't come bar. So let's look at video number eight. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments, let me know.